I'm gonna be lucky long time, yeah. Long time, ah. I'm gonna be lucky long time, oh. Hey y'all, so back with part three of my bag collection. Um, that is like the remainder of the bags that I have. If you have not seen the first two videos, go and check them out. The luxury Brit part and the Juicy Couture um, bag collection, go check them out. Link will be up there. Also check out my previous videos as well. Um, so yeah. And don't forget to follow me on my social media as always. So yeah. So this part is gonna be like Gas, Victoria's Secret, Steve Madden, Aldo, Pretty Little Thing, etc. etc. So, the first one I have here is this Aldo bag. Close it. How pretty is this? Instantly, when I saw it, it reminded me of Versace. Like, and it comes with a longer um, chain to wear it. Um, longer but i prefer it like this so yeah super cute all right so let's get started with the rest next i have is this gift bag right here like a non-line not nylon so wow what just happened <laughs> non-line style bag i got this one at burlington i got the elder burger burlington this one I got from the guest website itself. Got this a long time ago during the Black Friday sale. Well, Black Friday sale, but I had did a review on this a long back. Show you guys different ways you can wear this. This came one as a shoulder bag or a corset. So yeah, the nice velvet material as well. And the next would be this Steve Madden backpack. I got this at TJ Maxx. Really nice. That's this little tassel. Next is this guest bag, little mini tote bag. I got this because it reminded me of the Chloe bag. If y'all don't know what bag I'm talking about, this is it right here. Exact same style. If y'all don't know, guess does dupe a lot of designer brands so yeah but it does have this chain does have this little flap really nice okay next one i bought this last year didn't get a chance to wear it that's why i have it in the plastic because also it's white so don't want it to get dirty This pretty right here. How sick and cute is she? And the straps so beautiful. You can take out the straps if you care. This bag is gorgeous. So so gorgeous. I got this on the guest website. The purple one I got on the guest factory website. So certain bags, the regular guest that I have is certain bags the guest outlet have it which is a guest factory so yeah and the next one i have is this steve madden bag oh, this is the longer strap inside yeah this denim barrel bag and like i said it has a what was that i even feel huh oh, has a longer run um, next one I have is this Steve Madden bag. I always keep on contemplating if I should sell this or not because I only used her one time. I feel like I haven't used her in a minute. But I, I keep it, I feel like I'm giving it because of this part. Like the nice silver pedazzo. And this is like the second silver bag I had in my collection. I don't really have that much silver either. So that's why I'm also hanging on to it. But I don't know. That's that shoulder bag. This next one was my actually. I hate this noise in the background. This was actually my first fur tote bag. This is the first one it came out with. And then the next year they came out with like that white side. As you can see, the front is different, but it looks 
very similar. The straps are different. Yeah, super cute. Really nice bag. Next is this one. This one I got to the max. Um, what's funny is I went to one location, I found it in black and I bought it. And then I was like, you know what, if I end up finding the blue one, which is the one I really wanted, I'ma just return the black one. That's what happened, y'all. So I went to another location, found this one that I was looking for. Her. Then the next day I returned the black one. And yeah, but I feel like this color is just so me because blue is just so me. Don't get me wrong, I love black too, but I have a lot of black bags already, so this is a strap, it's a seat my now over it. So pretty. Next one I actually got from a reseller because I couldn't find it at all. But it's one of those viral seed matter bags. That one was also a viral seed matter bag, but I was honestly surprised that I even found it. <laughs> that was like pure luck. But yeah, this one right here comes with a coin purse. Also kind of looking like the um, Chloe bag a little bit too. And Steve Madden does um, dupe a lot of designer bags as well. Because it has this flap to pull your bag this way. Really nice bag. Next one is this bag right here. This one, if you don't know already, it is straight up duping the Balenciaga bag. Um, yeah. I used to have a Balenciaga bag, which was the hourglass one, but then I returned it because I didn't like the shape of it. Well, I, I liked the shape of it. I didn't like, it was too small. That's the problem. It was too small, so I returned it because of that reason. And I had ordered online, so yeah. But yeah, this is the Steve Madden one. Very nice. Um, I did want the pink one, the all pink and the all white one, but I still never came across it in Burlington to this day. I got lucky finding this one in Burlington. I did recently came across the denim one, which was very pretty. I did want it, but because I was more focused on getting um, that juicy bag right there, maybe I can see the black and white one back there i was more focused on trying to find that so i left it um but yeah that's that i also have this bag right here this is a victoria's secret bag it's like a bag charm bucket bag really really nice all right so the next one i have is this jelly one this i got from Forever 21 i think around 2021 yeah around 2021 i got this and this one is like duping the Chanel boy bag. By the way, I do want to get that bag though eventually in the near future. But yeah, have this. This still has a tag on it, yeah. Have not used it at all yet. Um, this one is another Chanel dupe. This one is also like, I think it's also called like the Chanel boy bag that the snow bag that looks like yeah, I think it's called the boy bag. Uh, I could be wrong, but yeah. This one right here can be one as shoulder bag or crossbody. I prefer like a shoulder bag. I've worn this only like twice. Next is my only bag from Pretty Little Thing. I used to have more bags from Pretty Little Things, but one of them I'm currently selling on McCurvy. And the other one I gave away, so yeah, that's this circle quoted bag like this. This came like this, y'all, yeah, with this looking like this, but I have used the bag several times as well. Um, but yeah, has a lot of space in there. <laughs> Next, I have is the beach bag. Beach bag. Then I have this has a lot of stuff in here, but this is a secret bag. I can't really see those says it, but there's says a trade secret. The next thing I got is this one. This one, y'all, it came. I don't know how, but I missed the time when Victoria's Secret had this going on where you had to spend a certain amount and get this bag for free. 
So I ended up getting on my credit for my resale. I got it for a good price. So I got it for twenty dollars, which is still compared to some people selling for sixty. So yeah, got this bag right here. Um, I did have the I do have the brown one too, which I'm currently selling as well. So if you're interested in getting the brown one, we can negotiate a price and yeah. Alright, the next one. Take this stuff out. This has a lot in here, but this one got this. I think it's 2019. Yeah, I used to have a white one of that one, and then I ended up selling it. But yeah, that is all of the bags, guys. Um, and of course, the newer bags that I also have will be the juicy ones, which is the black and white that's over there, the cherry one, and the other sling bag. I have shown those in my Burlington Hall video, so that's why I don't feel like necessary to show them in this video if, I, if this is already showing. But yeah, guys, so um, it's a lot of bags, y'all. I know a lot. Um, some I might get rid of, I don't know yet, but we'll see. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I was thinking, y'all, to do like come back with like hair types of videos, cooking videos, but my cooking videos usually on my second channel. If y'all don't know, I have a second channel called Life with Sanaya link to that is always in the description box by the way i was thinking about doing more cooking videos and um more of the other videos i used to do on my channel like trial hauls and stuff uh, since my birthday coming up oh yeah totally forgot about that y'all but it is my birthday month so um i'm thinking about doing like preparations for my birthday type of video getting me type videos for my birthday um, maybe when I'm going to get my eyebrows, lashes, and nails done, I'll film that. I'm thinking also about getting another, a new, um, nose ring. Because I've had this one since last year, and I think it's time to change it. I don't know yet. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that yet, but, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking about bringing a lot of my old types of content back on this channel. So, we'll see. We'll see. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to follow me on my social medias in the description box below. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.